Hey, Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, and today I want to talk to you about eight reasons why you should have a cool attic. Stay tuned. Okay, so here at Crawl Space Ninja, we cover the, the why and the how, but most companies only talk about the how. But the why is just as important. So before you do something, wouldn't you like to know why you should do it? Which is what we share on this channel. We tell you the why and the how of crawl space encapsulation, basement waterproofing, attic insulation, duct cleaning and sealing, indoor air quality. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. Okay, so the reason why I feel like this topic is so important is because I can't tell you how many homeowners kind of do things in reverse, okay? So let's say you got a hot bonus room, a hot bedroom or something like that. You as the homeowner may be thinking, oh, I need to get the HVAC professional out here to sell me a bigger unit. Or maybe, you call that attic insulation contractor and you just say, blow in more insulation. Well, those could be needed, but that doesn't mean it's going to fix the heat or the cool problems that you're having in that bonus room. So let's get into these eight reasons why you should have a cool attic. So having a cool attic in the summertime, if you have heating and air ducts in the attic, it's gonna keep that hot attic from robbing that cool air from those heating and air ducts, okay? So imagine you've got your HVAC set on 71, 72 degrees, and that 71, 72 degree air is traveling through a 150 to 170 degree attic. What do you think is gonna to happen to that cool air in those ductwork? That hot attic is gonna suck as much of that cold air out as possible. So that's a good reason to get it fixed. Okay, so another reason to have a cool attic is it's causing your heating and air unit to not have to work so hard. If your heating and air unit is being robbed of that cool air in the summertime, it's gotta work harder. It's gotta you know, get as much cold air out as possible. So having a cool attic is actually gonna cause that unit to work less hard and turn off more often, which is gonna save you money. And if the HVAC unit is working less, saving you money, there's less wear and tear, less maintenance, less replacement. All these things are important, right? So the less that heating and air unit has to work, the better and the longer that heating and air unit is going to perform over the years. Okay, so another reason why you should have a cool attic is it actually makes your roofing live longer. If you've got a shingle roof, for example, the sun is just beating down on those shingles all year long, right? So it's 170 degrees up here and it's 140 degrees down here. As we mentioned in our first video in the series about why you have a hot attic, the, uh, the roof decking can take a long time to cool off even after the sun leaves. And I'll put a link to that video down below if you wanna watch it. But having a cool attic is gonna cool that roof decking off faster. So maybe eight, nine o'clock at night, that roof is starting to cool off more quickly versus if the attic was hot all night, then it never cools off. So that's gonna cause your shingles to live longer. Having a cooler attic is also going to reduce the risk of condensation in the attic. As I mentioned before, when you have really cold air ducts going through a super hot room, it's going to increase condensation and increased condensation increases the chances for mold. You don't want to create a moldy attic by having a hot attic. Cooling that attic down also reduces the risk of condensation in the living space, okay? So if you've got cool sheetrock or a cool ceiling and just above it, you've got a really hot surface like a hot attic where those two meet can create condensation. Plus, if that ductwork is condensating, it could be dripping water onto your ceiling and creating a moisture problem inside the living space, which again can create a mold problem and an indoor air quality problem. Okay, so another reason to cool your attic is comfort. It doesn't matter how much money you're gonna save, who cares about that? Are you comfortable in your home? Are your kids comfortable? Are you sweating at night, all night, even though the thermostat is set at 71 degrees and the thermostat never can get there? That's from a hot 
attic, especially if you live in a climate like Atlanta or someplace like that where it's hot even at night. Okay, so making sure that attic gets cool in the evening is very important. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't have a heating and air system in my attic. Well, as I mentioned before, that radiant heat needs to be blocked as far away from your living space as possible. So if you can keep the radiant heat up near the roof decking and it travel out of the uh, ridge vent and the soffit and all that sort of thing, whether you have heating and air in your attic or in your roof decking or whatever or not, doesn't matter because that radiant heat can still affect the living space. Our final reason for making sure your attic is cool is, as I mentioned before in the video about why is my attic hot, we showed you thermal imaging how the sun creates such a hot roof. If that radiant heat travels through the roof, through the roof decking, into the attic, that radiant heat can be pushed all the way down until something stops it, okay? So just blowing in more insulation may be the fix, but we always recommend air sealing, making sure you throw radiant barrier up to keep that heat off of the attic and everything else. So to keep all of that radiant heat from traveling into the living space is our last reason for why you should have a cool attic. Did you find this information useful? I hope you did. And if you did, please like this video down below. And my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, trying to help you understand why you should have a cool attic. And I hope you make it a happy and blessed day. And we'll see you later.